Hello, God bless you. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. I pray that you're having a great day and that this will find you blessed of the Lord and highly favored. I'm about to do something today that I seldom do, but I'm doing this with the full consultation, blessings, and permission of the presiding bishop of the Church of God in Christ, Bishop J. Drew Sheard. He's well aware of what we're about to talk to you about today. And I pray that you will listen with your heart as well as your minds at what we're about to speak to you about. Again, my name is Patrick Wooden. Wooden. Oftentimes I'm referred to as Wooten and uh, I was referred to as Wooten in this piece that I'm going to address today. But my name is Wooden and uh, I just wanted to say that in the onset. There is a social media influencer out there who has spoken to a situation and uh, he called my name, the presiding bishop's name, uh, our first lady's name, and uh, one of our saintly mother's name in his uh, presentation dealing with an issue concerning one of uh, the supposed Church of God in Christ pastors. And so I want to speak to this. Uh, the influencer is, is talking about a pastor in Las Vegas uh, named Bobby Smith and his wife, LaShawn Smith. Again, I will not call the influencer's name, nor will I show uh, the video. Uh, he, he speaks to their alleged immoral behavior, reprehensible behavior, behavior that no Christian can justify, that no born again believer would agree with, uh, that no one could uh, even go to what about isms and well, what about this person or what about that person? I'm talking about behavior that is wrong. It is repugnant. It is ungodly. Um, that, that certainly flies in the face of the teachings and the doctrine of biblical Christianity and the church of God in Christ. As a matter of fact, the uh, righteous indignation of the uh, social media influencer that is aptly expressed uh, concerning the behavior of this preacher, Bobby Smith, is justified. And I agree with his uh, righteous indignation. I agree with his denunciation of Smith's uh, behavior. And if true, and, and, and the thing from what I understand, based on what the influencer said, they're about to go to court, go back to court in July, if true, then uh, I, it is a legal matter. And I pray that this uh, man and his wife is uh, prosecuted uh, to the full extent of the law. And uh, the behavior uh, should not be mentioned once in the body of Christ. It has to do with immoral behavior. It has to do with things that certainly uh, no Christian uh, should uh, be a part of and no husband and wife team should be a part of. But as I listened to the influencer, the influencer called out the presiding bishop of the Church of God in Christ by name and likeness, his lovely wife, first lady, Karen Clark, sheared, and uh, yours truly. Uh, he got my name wrong. He called me Bishop Wooden, and uh, my name is Wooden. And he also called out one of the most uh, saintly women of God that I know of in the entire body of Christ, Mother Frances Kelly. Mother Frances Kelly is a revered, respected, saintly lady in the church of God in Christ. She's a beautiful lady, 89 plus years of age. Oh, what a woman of God she is. And she's one of our national prayer coordinators. And I would go so far as to say that Mother Kelly has as in her prayer ministry, prayed for the influencer, for she pr prays for the body of Christ all over the world. Our first lady, first lady Karen Clark Sheard, is a wonderful woman of God, a tremendous first lady, tremendous wife, mother, 
grand grandmother. She loves her husband. And in the church of God in Christ, we are so proud of her and we love her. Our presiding bishop is doing a tremendous job leading this great church. He became presiding bishop in March of 2021. And when you see what he has done in just a very short time, you can't help but praise God for his leadership and what the Lord is giving him to do. And quite frankly, Brother Wooden here is a part of the Church of God in Christ. I'm one of the little peons uh, uh, in the church, but I'm so grateful to be a part of this great church. I love the Church of God in Christ. It was a Church of God in Christ preacher whom God used to preach me out of my sin. I'm in this church because I know the doctrine of the church. And I thank God for the doctrine of this church and denomination. And I am a proud member of the Church of God in Christ. Having said that, our church, like all other churches, are populated operated by and filled with people. And anywhere there are, you find people, you find sin, you find shortcomings, you find things that takes place that should not take place. And so the influencers outrage, righteous indignation and denunciation of uh, uh, Pastor uh, Bobby Smith uh, from Las Vegas, Nevada. I personally think that the things that he said were justified and were correct. But he called out the presiding bishop. He wanted to know, what are we doing? He called out First Lady Karen Clark Sheard. I don't know why he would think that the First Lady would have anything to do with that uh, at all. And um, I, I was somewhat moved by the tone, and maybe maybe I just heard it wrong, that was uh, used when he mentioned Mother Frances Kelly. Uh, uh, I sensed uh, uh, contempt. But uh, let me tell you, she is uh, a woman of God to be admired and revered and respected. She has given her life uh, to the cause of Christ and a prayer warrior indeed. And she is highly honored, not just not simply within our uh, denomination, but everyone who knows her knows that she is indeed a woman of God. And what God has given her to do uh, would not extend itself uh, to a pastor in Las Vegas. Uh, I doubt that she even knows uh, this Bobby Smith and his wife, LaShawn, who, uh, if true, and it seems that it is, and they're about to go to court, so, you know, a person is innocent until proven guilty, so, you know, we're going to go with that. So, with the things that are alleged, if true, then uh, um, uh, they should be taken down and dealt with. Now, let me speak to the presiding bishop of our great church. I talk with the presiding bishop personally, and I praise God for him, and he told me, I told you I'm doing this with his full knowledge, consultation, and uh, blessing. That when uh, this thing reached his desk, when it reached his ears, remember this has been going on since 2014, according to the influencer. The first thing that came out of the presiding bishop's mouth was we cannot have this. The presiding bishop uh, responded immediately from what he shared with me and said that uh, Pastor Bobby Smith is to be taken down. He must decease uh, and desist uh, with uh, operating in the church. And, um, and from what I understand that the presiding bishop shared with me is that Bobby Smith would not submit himself to uh, the church's procedures which then caused him to be operating illegally. A letter has been sent to him for him to cease and to desist. But uh, when the presiding bishop dealt with this situation and spoke to it, the moment he, it reached his ears, and keep in mind, the presiding bishop, our current presiding bishop, uh, has been in office since uh, March of 2021. He moved on this uh, right away and 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 said we can't have this the presiding bishop does not uh, uh, endorse sin he does not uh, endorse uh, wicked behavior amongst the presbytery 
and uh, he has spoken to this. And, uh, and so I want to say to the influencer that sometimes that uh, because we don't know what has been said or know what has been done, uh, we should not assume that nothing has been said or done. And I know that the presiding bishop would not deal with this and deal with it in public, on the Internet and things of that nature. So um, uh, uh, this preacher and again, I want to say to you, the presiding bishop, along with me and any Christian out there who is aware of what this man has done. There is no way you can minimize this behavior. You certainly can't sanitize it. Uh, I would not speak of it in euphemistic terms. It is godless at the core. It is wrong and no preacher should behave like this. And I agree with the influencer. Not only does this take place too much in the church of God in Christ, uh, this kind of behavior takes place too much in the body of Christ. And uh, the, the influencer asks, uh, what does a pastor and his wife need with 20 sex toys? Um, I guess my response to that would be, what does a pastor and his wife need with a sex toy at all? So, uh, uh, and, and as to why I haven't spoken on it, is uh, I, 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 I'm going to answer the influence, influencer because he uh, called me out by name, uh, showed my likeness, and, and I guess to, to, uh, to add a little color to it, he, he went on to say, well, I know this is not Beyonce or it's not Disney, and you've had something to say about everything else. And, uh, and he said, come on, bro. And I say to you, my brother, uh, and I have no uh, attack for you, the reason that I have not mentioned this is because I didn't know about it. The Church of God in Christ has over 12,000 congregations. The Church of God in Christ has a reportedly uh, 6 million plus members um, uh, around the world. Uh, we have multiple jurisdictions. I have never heard of Pastor Bobby Smith. If he was standing in my office today, I wouldn't know him. I never heard of New Beginnings Church of God in Christ. And even though, as you rightly stated and showed that this has been in the news, um, I don't know if it has reached the national news. Uh, I don't live in Las Vegas. I don't uh, communicate with uh, on a regular basis with any of the brethren who are in Las Vegas and not for any particular reason. I just don't know many people there. I have preached there before and the Lord willing, we will preach there again, but I've never preached for pastor Bobby Smith. I've never been to new beginnings church of God in Christ. And I never heard of the case. And if the case did reach the national news, uh, somehow I missed it. And so to, to long story short, my reasons for saying nothing about it is I knew nothing about it. But what I will say about it today is that uh, I pray that the brother gets saved. I pray that he gets delivered. I pray that his wife gets delivered. I pray that they get set free. But I also pray that they're taken down and removed. If he's operating with a Kojic sign in front of his church, then he's operating with that sign illegally. Um, and, um, and even though he may have been Kojic, when Church of God in Christ, when he did these deeds under this administration, when the presiding bishop heard about it, the presiding bishop of the Church of God in Christ told me as we spoke on this matter yesterday and yesterday evening, we cannot tolerate this. And I thank God, you know, you can't answer for anything that has happened uh, before you were in a position uh, to do something about it. Uh, but uh, uh, this is where we are today. So long story short, brother influencer, I didn't know about it. Thank you for telling me. And uh, I would uh, 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 hope that in the future uh, that uh, we get the benefit of the doubt and, and, and add uh, perhaps, you know, when you, when you go through your litany of why we haven't said anything, you might want to add, well, I wonder if they know. 
Because only the God of the Bible knows everything. Only the God of the Bible, his eyes are in every place, beholding the evil uh, and the good. And uh, and just as uh, with the tremendous job, Mr. Influencer, that you are doing, uh, I guarantee you, uh, you haven't called out uh, everything. And in, lastly, as a pastor, it is not my calling, nor is it our job to basically call out um, even with doing this today, there will be no part two. There will be no follow up. Uh, we won't get into a back and forth on this. We won't get pulled off track and things like that because that's not what we do. And if you follow this ministry long enough, you know that I have been lampooned, lambaste, talked about, lied on, and, and, and charged with all kinds of things. And I never even responded because by and large, we don't punch down. And once you get into th those kinds of things, it leads you down a road that takes you away from preaching the gospel and saying the things that God gives you to say. So I'm saying all that I have to say about this uh, today, uh, I won't get into a back and forth with it, but to answer the question, sir, that you asked, uh, why hasn't Bishop Wooden said something? Bishop Wooden uh, was not aware of this, but now that I am aware, I want you to know that I agree with your sentiments uh, 100% in terms of what should be done to this preacher, to his wife, and to 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 uh, to any who behave in such a reprehensible manner. So we're done with this. May God's choice blessings be yours. And I want to say to all the members of the body of Christ out there, let us continue to pray for each other. Let us continue to hold each other up in prayer. And let's live this thing. Let's walk it out. For it is to be walked out. We are saved by grace. But there is a standard. And this is a holiness church. And I say to, and I haven't just began to say this, to all of the church of God in Christ preachers who will see this and hear this, to all who are in our great church, thank you, presiding bishop, for allowing me to speak on this matter. I want to say to all, let us protect the brand and the name of our great church by first and foremost, walking upright and living holy, for we are a holiness church. God bless you. Make it a great day.